Hi everyone, welcome to another Procreate Dreams animation. This is the animation that we will be creating in today's video. A very, very simple one where our little puppy is in his present. He comes into screen, the lid comes off, and he comes out of the box and kind of tilts his head at you. It's a pretty simple one today. We'll just go over some of the main concepts in Procreate Dreams, how to move things around, how to rotate things, how to set up your files and your layers, and all of that kind of stuff. So. Pretty straightforward, simple one today. Great for anyone who is beginning or anyone who is experienced as well will have fun with it. It's really simple. If you are new here, I mainly post Procreate tutorials and now Procreate Dreams tutorials. So if that is something you are interested in, go ahead and subscribe. I also offer extra tutorials over on Patreon. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and check that out. It's linked in the description below. So this is a drawing that we created in Procreate in a previous tutorial. So if you wanna check that out and draw it yourself, go ahead and check out that video linked in the description below. If you want to use my file, that's totally fine too. I included it in the description below. It's totally free to download. Just download the file to your iPad, save it somewhere where you can access it later. It should save as a .procreate file, and then we will import it in the beginning of the video. If you did draw yours in Procreate already, just stick around in the beginning of the video. We will go over how to export it to import into Procreate Dreams. In the beginning of the video, I will also go over how to set up our stage and everything as well. So as long as you have your file downloaded or your drawing ready to go, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so before we get into dreams, we're going to get our file ready to export from Procreate. So if you drew it in Procreate, follow these steps. If you are using my files, skip ahead to this timestamp where we start Procreate Dreams and start that process. But if we're exporting from our own Procreate file, here is what we need to do. So we need to make sure all of our layers are good. So we only want a few layers to work with here. So on our layer menu, we are first going to snap our floor together. So our floor, our white rectangle, and our background layer snap those all together. So we should have one layer that has our gray, white, and brown on it. For your dog layer, if it's all in a group, click on it and click flatten group. So it's all one layer. Then our next two layers we need to snap together too. So the box and the ribbon that's on it. We have our lid layer on one layer. If you don't, if yours was in a group, click on it and click flatten group. Okay, so then our lid and then our paws. So the other thing we need to do is get it ready for our starting position, which is where the dog is inside the box. So let's first grab our dog head layer, arrow tool, make sure snapping is turned on in the bottom left still, and drag this down on our center yellow lines until he's inside the box. So again, he shouldn't be going outside the edges anywhere. So your little dotted rectangle should be inside our green box entirely. Same thing with our paws. Our paw layer is on top of everything, and we can't have that in the beginning, so they need to be inside as well. So grab our paw layer on our layer menu and drag it below our uh, box layer and our lid layer, so right above our head. Also grab it with your arrow tool and drag it inside the box, just inside the top is fine, like so. Then we need to move our lid layer back on top, so grab our lid layer, arrow tool, move it back to the top of our box, center it on our center yellow line, Make sure there's no gap or anything, so it's just covering the top. Okay, so it should look like this. Your layer menu should look like this. Lid, box, pause, head, background. Okay, now we just need to click the gear icon, click share, share image as a Procreate file. So export it like that and save it to your files. You can title it. Puppy present. And I'm just going to save it to iCloud. Um, click return and then save. Export successful. Okay, and now we can just switch on over into Dreams. So if we open up Dreams, this is what it should look like. You might have other things here. These are some of my other tutorials that I've worked on, including the puppy one that I already kind of tested before making the video. So just click this plus icon. And then we, these are the different options for our formats. So you can slide through those. We are going to switch ours to square. Once it's to square, just click empty and it will open up our new dream. So we just need to make a few adjustments to it before we can get started. So 
let's first click this dream nine or whatever yours says to open up our properties and stuff. Under properties, frames per second, we'll leave it 24. Duration, we'll set to 10 seconds. Then we need to change the width and height to 3000 to match our previous picture. So click into it, double tap, bring up the keyboard, show keyboard, 3000 for that one. Next one, double tap, 3000 there. Okay, let's go ahead and set the timeline to loop. That's just going to be easier when we go to preview it. So go ahead and click done. And now we have our first dream here open. There's no tracks yet. So let's go ahead and import our drawing or our file. So click the plus icon, select files, find the file wherever you saved it, the dot procreate file, open. And it should take up the entire stage like so. You'll have your drawing here. Okay, and then a few quick, just like navigation things, three fingers we'll use to slide left and right to extend our timeline so that we can see our seconds break down either shorter or longer. Three fingers up also extends each track. Right now we just have the one, but that would be how we extend each track. You can still use like two fingers to pinch and zoom. And then this is our playhead. So this is where it starts. If we click play, it'll just play through. Obviously nothing's happening yet. Okay, so now we can hold on this track with our drawing and click convert layers to tracks. So all the layers that were in our previous drawing, if we click to open up this group, are each on their own little section here. So we have our background layer, our puppy layer inside, our paws, our box and the lid. And then the top one is just our group as a whole. So each layer is divided and then this top one is just for our entire group. The first thing that we need to do is separate our background from our group so that we can move our puppy box lid, all that to the left of our stage so that it can come sliding in, but we don't want our background to slide in. So our background needs to go out. So, so let's kind of move our timeline down so that we have more showing at the bottom. Hold on this layer with our background on it and drag it way down out here and kind of let that go. And it should hopefully snap outside of our group. So then if we tap on our group at the top, it shouldn't be highlighted in this red anymore. So keep trying to drag it down until you get it out of there. Make sure it's still lined up. Mine kind of lined up to the right. So I just dragged it back to where the beginning and end hit at the zero and 10 second marks. So everything looks all lined up again. Okay, so now if we tap on our group, it should only select our present. I'm gonna drag my playhead to the beginning. Make sure the whole group is selected. And then if you need to, if it's not already like highlighted, just tap on it to highlight it. And then we're gonna drag it straight to the left, trying to keep it kind of in line with where it is. So like this line that it's almost touching, I'm just gonna kind of keep that lined up all the way off the screen, the lid and everything. Okay, so now we can add our first action here. So we're gonna have it move from the left onto our screen in the middle. So we wanna have the whole group selected so we're kind of at this top group line. Set your playhead to the very beginning, click on this movie button, click move to add a move action, and then move and scale. It's going to automatically set a keyframe at the beginning where it's off on the left. We want it to come in at two seconds. So I'll tap down the line at two seconds. You should see a blink like move and scale button there. Tap it to highlight it and that adds another keyframe. For that keyframe, we're going to drag it in so we're about centered and I'm still kind of lined up with that bottom line, you know, kind of wherever it was before. So mine's just right above that one line there. Pretty evenly centered as best as I can get it. Okay, then if we play from the beginning, so set back to the beginning and click play, it moves in like so. And right now my easing is set to ease in and out. So if we hold on our move and scale line here and we click set all easings, there's different options. So linear is just like the same speed the entire time. Ease in means I think it goes slower and then faster. Yes, and then ease out is where it goes faster and then slower. And then ease in and out is where it kind of does a little of, of all of that. So it kind of starts slow, then fast, then slow again. So I have it set to ease in and out. You can set it to whichever one you would like. 
Okay, so that's our first thing. So next up after it comes in here, we want the lid to come off and settle on the ground. So to do that, we are going to find our layer with our lid on it. So it should be our next layer down. So be on that layer only, not the group. I'm gonna expand it a little bit and then yes, yeah, set it about two seconds. I'm gonna tap the movie button, move, move and scale. It sets that one there. There's one at the beginning on the left as well. Okay, so it sets one at two seconds. It's gonna start there. Then what we're actually going to do is do a recording. So we're going to, instead of like, you know, before we set the beginning and end point and it just kind of goes from one to the other. This time we're gonna record what we do to it because we're gonna have it pop off and then down. So instead of setting multiple, like it starts here, we'll say it goes here and then we'll say it goes here and it kind of tries to figure that out. Let's just do a recording of exactly how we want it to move. So right at two seconds, I tap to make a keyframe there. So that's highlighted, that's where we're at. We're gonna click this recording button, the little circle. Now it's like going to start recording as soon as we touch the screen with our pencil. So it's selected, we're gonna be outside of it, just touch outside of it, and we're gonna go up and then down and have it settle on the ground. Just be careful that you're not going like off the stage. So we might have to do it a few times, but I'm gonna go now. So I'm gonna go up and then down like so. And then it ended at almost four seconds. That's about how long it took, but let's just kind of go before it, click our play button and kind of see how that looks. So very nice, I like that. Just go ahead and if you need to, double tap to undo and try it again. Just make sure that this like recording button is active so it'll be a square. So now I'm gonna touch the square to turn that off. So we're done recording, but that looks great. Then next we need our paws to come up. So our paws are gonna come up from outside of the box, then they're going to go on top of the front of the box. So to do that, let's go to our pause layer. We'll set our playhead at about four seconds-ish when our lid hits the ground and we will click there and click move, move and scale. So again, it's that one at the beginning where it's inside the box. At four seconds, we still want it to be inside the box, so leave that one there. Then maybe at five seconds, we'll have it come out of the box. So go to five seconds on our move and scale line, tap to make another keyframe. We're gonna drag it just kind of straight up right above the box, so right about there. Okay, let's kind of play that and see how that looks. They just come right up. Okay, now we are going to have to add another layer of paws that's above our box so that when it comes back down, it can like be on the rim of our box and it's gonna have to be over this other layer. So we're going to hold on this layer and click copy, click on our box layer, add a track above it, hold on this track and click paste. Again, we need to kind of drag it around to where it's like correct. It just kind of pastes wherever. So I'm gonna hold on it. I'm gonna move it down to the end. Move it back to the beginning. I don't know, you kind of have to move it around. All this stuff should still be lined up. So we should have a move and scale at the beginning at four seconds and five seconds. So move it around until you get that. Then on our new one on top here, we're going to grab the left edge and drag it in until about five seconds. We don't wanna overwrite that keyframe. So leave that one there. So it should look like this now. And then at six seconds, we want them to be hanging over the edge. So I'm gonna set to six seconds on my move and scale line, click on it to add a new keyframe, drag it straight down a little bit. You'll still see that one behind it. We'll move that in and we'll get rid of that in a second, but just slightly down on the lip of our box. Okay, back to our layer that's underneath our box. Grab the right edge and drag it down again until we hit that last keyframe. We don't wanna overwrite it, so just till we get right to it. Let's go to just like three and a half seconds, play from there. So the one goes up, the next one comes down and it should be pretty seamless. And then that one stays there till the end. Okay, after the paws come down, our puppy will start poking its head out. So he stays under the box for the most part until about six seconds, he'll start moving up. So right at six seconds, let's set our playhead there. Click the movie button, move, move and scale. And then maybe by about eight seconds or seven and a half seconds, we'll say he's up. So let's go to seven and a half. Click to add another keyframe there, drag him up until just his nose is above our top of our box here, like so, kind of lined up with our paws so he's pretty even. 
Okay, let's play from right before that. See that happen? Pokes his head out. Okay, and then by nine seconds, we are going to have him tilt his head. So same thing, right at nine seconds, we'll, we're still on our moving scale here. Clicked at another keyframe there. What we're going to do is we're just going to tap a corner of this box and then a little rotate bar pops up. So tap it, rotate, and then we'll rotate it to the right a little bit, like so. Then if we play it again, he pops up, and then he rotates his head a little bit looking at you. So that is it for our animation. So let's just tap on this with four fingers to bring up our preview. And this is where the looping comes into play. So it's not a looping animation where it starts and ends at the same point and you can't really tell the difference. But we, I just like to set it to loop so that when we replay it here, it just keeps going so we can keep watching it. So that is it for our animation. I hope that you learned some new stuff and kind of got the hang of Procreate Dreams a little bit. We're still all learning a lot and doing a lot of new things with it. So I'm excited to make some more Dreams tutorials in the future. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. And if you would like to share your drawing on Instagram, if we go back into it, what you'll do is click on your dream button go to share and you'll share it as a video um, and then you'll save it to your phone or save it to your iPad. You can move it to your phone. The biggest thing is under custom settings, you need to do the file container to MOV. I think it automatically maybe sets it to MP4 and with MP4, you can only save it to your files and not your camera roll. So it's hard to post it anywhere. So if you need to under advanced, just set it to MOV instead and then export it that way. But again, if you want to export it and share it on Instagram, go ahead and post it there and then tag me so that I can check it out. And while you're there, go ahead and give me a follow so that you can see what I'm working on next. Thanks for watching.